having a huge fight with Joseph Parker, who seems to be a little bit, not by Joshua, but by the public, a little bit overlooked because everyone's talking about potential fights with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury and whoever else. But can you see the possibility of Wilder and Joshua happening this year? No, not yet. No. Not yet. My gut instinct says no. 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 Maybe, what, maybe next year. For the reason. That? One guy's good. One guy will have three. But if it's Joshua, well, maybe maybe if Parker wins, if Parker if Parker beats Joshua, then Parker's gonna have a rematch. So no, it ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen this year. There are bit. There are bigger fights out there for Joshua, more financially lucrative fights that he may feel are easier than Deontay Wilder. I know this time round, you are kind of refusing to kind of talk about anyone else apart from what you have in front of you on May 5th. Tony Belly, May 5th, yeah. But, yes. that, but that's it. But usually you get 100 questions thrown at you about, well, if you beat Potential, him, yeah, would you yeah. fight him? Yeah, would yeah. you fight him? Could you fight him? But if you beat Tony Belly, you're, I to, I go, you're I fully back on the scene, though. Potentially. Depends. No, 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 not, not necessarily. Right. If I, t if I beat Tony Belly, if I get knocked down two times, got a big cut, dislocate my arm, sprain my ankle, nah, I'm not. I'm like, so is it how your, is how the, your the, body reacts after the fight how, as well? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. How, how, I, how I look after this fight is solely dependent on where I box again. It's not the result of the fight. Right. A loss, 100% no, I won't box again. A win, depending on how I win the fight. If I win the fight and it's a struggle and I'm, I'm to dig deep, and then it's that. Like, no. If you can't beat Tony Bailey real clean, then you know, thinking about any of these big names is just crazy. Roughly two months out to the fight. How are you feeling today? I feel good. I feel really good. I feel healthy. Um, I feel probably a lot, a hell of a lot better than I felt two months prior to our first fight. Like way better. Um, I feel healthier. Yeah, I just feel better all round. Everything feels better. So things seem to be coming together. You know, I've got Ruben Tabares back on the team now, um, working closely with Ishmael Salas. So I think that's a nice combination. You know, Ruben's worked with me. For my all my heavyweight title fights, um, when I beat Nikolai Valio, so he knows how to get the best the best out of me. And uh, we've been working every day till God knows what time at night. And uh, yeah, I feel nice. I feel good. I think people are gonna be pleasantly surprised when they see the the, the version of the haymaker that turns Which up this point time. Which point is this? Yeah, I know about 18.6, I think it is. Yeah. But David, in the lead up to this fight, um, in the lead up to this fight compared to the last one, you've been less kind of. Not vocal, but... I, 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 in the lead up to this fight, I don't have to sell the fight. First time around, I really had to sell the fight because as soon as the fight was announced, it was like, ah, fighting Tony Bradley, oh, it'll be interesting, but you're going to knock him out in one round, so yeah, we might not pay for this one on pay-per-view, we'll pay for the next one. You know, when you're fighting someone who's going to fight battle, such a huge favourite for the first one, it wasn't considered a competitive match. It was, competitive, competitive, it was considered a fight where two guys didn't like each other. That's what he was watching the grudge, not watching it for a, a Gatti Ward type of experience. You're watching it for just something might crazy might happen. This time round, people know it was a great fight first time. And they're hoping it's going to get the same thing again. So we don't have to sell it. I don't have to slap him or he doesn't have to say this or that. The fight, the first fight sells the second fight. So I can relax, I can train, I can wish him well. Train well, Tony Bellew. Remember, I, I love you. Last question, just quickly. I believe Tony Bellew's come out and said today that there is a possibility of him fighting Andre Wall after you. What do, what do you think of that? If he can beat me, he can fight anybody. If he can fight, if he can beat me, then yeah, fighting Wall would be a great fight for him. He said he doesn't want to fight Joshua or Wilder. He's who, honest about that. He's, he's honest about them. So if he feels he can go down and do that, then great. If he feels if he can beat me in the form that I'm in. Then he's got a great shot against Ward, no doubt about it. So he's right. If he can beat me, then looking at someone like Ward, getting him out of retirement, it'll be a big fight. And it's a fight against a guy who's not that big. So he'll be a lot less, it may feel to him as though he's a lot less dangerous than me. David Hay, thank you very much for talking to iFull TV. And like I said, Channel 5, 10, 30 pm. Tune in. Tune in. Or if you're coming there, get there from about 5 o'clock. Yeah, you've got a lot of fire sauce. Yeah. No problem.